set for number one on the road. It is Duke taking on Florida State. We welcome you to the Tucker Center. Bob Oshusen here with Dick Vitale and Allison Williams. It could not be a better atmosphere inside this building. 3,640,000 viewers tuned in to the final moments of the Florida State versus Duke broadcast, making it the most watched college basketball game on a Saturday this year. But what the viewers can't see is the entire crew behind the scenes who make the broadcast possible. Control. And yeah, three, I'm going to do it two, as is now, so I think I'm good. One. From camera to audio to video, um, graphics, it's all there. We call it uh, uh, controlled chaos, shall we say. As the show's producer, Kim Belton stands as one of the key figures who helps turn the game day chaos into a visual masterpiece. Think of me kind of as an architect. Kind of lay out the plans of what we're going to do, uh, how we're going to cover the game, and in conjunction with the director, put that plan into uh, reality, shall we say. It all starts with your producer. So everything content-wise that I want to do, I first go to him to see if he likes that's Kim Belton on the show, and I'm going to bounce ideas with him throughout the week. The objective of each broadcast is to tell a story. To do so, the entire week leading up to game day is spent on research. It's a combination of preparing all week and then doing your work when you get on the ground as well, gathering as much information as you can. Along with research, planning is vital for success. Much of that responsibility falls on the network's operations producer. When I'm working from home, it's uh, the prep side of it, whether that be interacting with um, the school, the SID, the venue, trying to figure out what the layout is, what camera positions we can use, if they have cabling in here, just all the operations ahead of time, and then also letting the production team know some of that information so they make, can make decisions. Managing a crew of roughly 40 people while dealing with the hectics of a game day atmosphere can be difficult. But the key is simple, communication. I think good communication ahead of time so that we know what we want, uh, what the production team wants so that I can let the, the school know ahead of time. Yeah, just communication with everybody. Each event is unique. For the FSU Duke game in particular, the production crew arrived on site at 4 a.m. to begin preparing for the 2 p.m. tip off. Ultimately, it's eight to 10 hours of setup in order to have the for basketball, two hours of basketball on air. On a large event like the Duke one, it was upwards of 20 cameras. So there's so much goes on that viewers don't see. Each broadcast serves as a final exam for all of the advanced preparation. A passing grade is determined by the broadcast ability to tell the story without being intrusive. I think a, a successful broadcast really is, we didn't really get in the way of the game. We enhanced the game uh, and we had fun. Ultimately, being multifaceted is a characteristic that everyone in the business should drive to possess. Being versatile, doing whatever it takes, whether you have to shoot, whether you have to edit, whether you have to direct, uh, being able to jump behind the scenes makes you so much better on camera because then you know what it takes, you know what's going on. To all of those chasing a dream in the sports industry, the advice is simple. I think the first thing is drive and hard work and perseverance because people are going to tell you no and people are going to tell you it's really hard. And that's all true and that's all fine, but it's just finding that one break. As they say, the first step towards success is falling in love with your work, something that working in the sports industry surely makes easy. I'm Lauren Swartvigar for Seminole Sports Magazine.